try not to get too excited. Deep breath, deep breath. I got it. So let's try them on, let's talk about it. It's first impressions, and then I will put on some more makeup, take this off first, so here we go. I'm going to leave the mascara and liner because that just takes too long. But yeah, let's open them up and see what's happening. I'm very curious because the foundation that came out, I wasn't absolutely in love with. This is plastic. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to be medium coverage, hydrating, long wearing, it has skincare ingredients in there. The last say concealer that I tried was very not great. <laughs> It's just like, it didn't do anything for me. I think it's really for people who aren't trying to mask dark circles or whatever, and I needed more opacity. So it just was kind of wimpy for me, that performance, based off of what I was looking for. Six and seven. So let's try six first. Give her a whirl. I don't have any prep underneath. Normally, I'm using an eye cream that stays on the next morning. I don't rinse that off all the time. Sometimes I do. We have a doe foot applicator here, and I'm primarily gonna apply on the corner and outer corner. Ooh, it's like cool, cool to the touch. Overall, it's kind of a lighter weight formula. I'm going to use my fingers first. I try brushes. I try just there's a lot so I'm not gonna put you through the ringer here but you'll see the first impression so let's just press it in Wow okay it's really lightweight and it's pressing right into skin okay let's see how it goes in where I really need it because the allergies are crazy and I think you know global warming we're only gonna make them worse sorry things you think about while applying concealer laundry lists Laundry lists, grocery lists, the end of the planet, solar eclipses, holy crap holy. It's giving medium coverage for sure, but I would say light to medium. It is doing all the things as we can see. Difference, can you see it? Because I can see it. And I also think this color match might be pretty good. It's skewing a little yellow for my skin, but I'm not mad at it. This is Lightweight, not as silky as, say, the Tower 28, but lighter weight like that. Gel cream, not dense. Coverage is like a veil almost, but a strong veil like the Iris and Romeo. It's giving me best of both worlds right now. I'm not seeing instant creasing. Try not to get too excited. Deep breath, deep breath. Let's try the other eye, let's try the other eye. Although this is pretty great. Oh, I should try building first, shouldn't I? I should, again. I like it, and not too much comes onto that little foot. It's not like a dollop, but it's saturated, so product comes off, but not too much. It's just nice, honestly. I don't really know if they engineered it to be like that. I might be giving them too much credit, but I like it. Okay. Whoa, 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 wow, wow, wow. A little bit of creasing. She's not perfect. She's not perfect. What, what, like, what concealer isn't going to? And this is just one try. Application wise, I can try with a brush. Allergy eye, happy eye. Allergy eye, well rested eye. Allergy eye. Hmm. And it doesn't look, it's starting to look a little makeup y, right? You can kind of tell that I have it on, but I'll have to look at it in natural light. Maybe take a video tomorrow for that. Do I need to set? We'll see what it looks like if I set. Let's try the other shade, shall we? I don't even want to add. I was going to do eye cream, and I just don't even think it needs it. It does have skin boosting benefits inside, so they say. Oh, I'll tell you this much. Well, I mean, I'm already telling you a lot, but this is light years beyond the first concealer. ASMR. All right, I'm just having so much fun. Okay, this one kind of came off in a dollop. It's fine. I did give them too much credit. Let's do outer edge, inner corner, outer edge, and press. Wow, I can't use my left finger to, wow, that's hard. Whoa, have you ever tried that? Have you ever tried using the non-dominant finger? Whoa, that's weird. Okay, well, I, I kind of messed that up. So let's just pop a little bit more in that corner and press. They're very close. This is probably why I had a bit of an issue figuring out what shade to get. This seems a little cooler, just a smidge. It's gonna be really hard to tell. I am seeing creasing here, so I will have to set this or just change up the way I apply it. I could buff it in a little bit with a brush. Possibly that might help. The six was a little bit warmer. The seven, probably a bit more neutral, cool. And 
I th think personally I'm leaning towards the seven. Oh man, my sinuses are killing me. This is about the concealer. Talk about the concealer. Yeah. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I wouldn't be upset with either if I bought one versus the other, but I do think this is a little cooler and I think I like it. So let's apply it elsewhere on the face. Normally I would use a brush to press it in. I'll start with fingers. This is on top of makeup a little bit. Not a lot of makeup. I really have been wanting to make my concealers my full face of coverage lately. And they often separate on me, so I don't always find that to be possible. Oh, what? This has got some sort of blurring properties? What do you think I'm thinking right now? Pop quiz hotshot, what is Brit thinking? What am I thinking? Read my mind. Please, tell me what I'm thinking. I've lost my mind. No, really, this is impressive. This is a fun first impression. Although the big fails are also kind of fun too. Let's be honest, I kind of like those too. But I would, I would like to like it. Really, I go into all of these like wanting to like the products and review them positively. Haven't done a full ingredient scan, haven't done a full wear test, haven't done a full natural light test, haven't done the full scorecard. We get that, right? So I'm not telling you to just like run and buy. But what I am telling you is this is significantly better for me and what I like compared to the first concealer. Yes, mm -hmm, indeed. We do have a little bit of creasy crease. It's very subtle. Again, it's reminding me of the Tower 28. I'm using the 14E because, well, if you know me, you know I love it. Do you see how quickly this glides over that area? There's no tackiness, there's no moisture, it's not dry. There's something kind of great happening here. That applied so well. Wow, this is an impressive concealer. I'm very excited about this, okay, okay. Just when you think you can't get excited about another product. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right, do I wanna keep doing that? No, no, I don't, okay. Oh, I didn't do the top of the eyes, look at that. Let's see how it works there. I'm still using seven. I think I'm be gravitating more towards seven, I can tell. This really blends quickly, making me think there's some form of a silicone inside. Well, that got covered up fast. Finding it also pretty hard to mess up. Pretty hard to mess up. Look at how different my eyes look though. Without that dimension in the crease. Oh, it drives me nuts. I don't know why, it's a thing. Got it on my thing. Mm. Concealer on the sweatshirt. Work hazard. We're gonna use the Merit Solo Shadow that it was underwhelming. Now I might be coming around to it, probably not. Maybe, I don't know. We'll put it on for the purposes of seeing how it works with the concealer. Pretty great. That's a cream shadow too on top of it, so I was looking for streaking or splotchiness. Wow, wow, wow. The powder really helps with the creasing. Honestly, it was a good job there. Maybe a tiny bit of separation, but the prep is different. So I can play with this if I just put a moisturizer and then this on top. That would be a really true test. Maybe for the readiness, we'll do a little bit of readiness. See how it does there. Cause it's so light. It's like, almost like a film. It's crazy. Spot coverage. Whew, this is good stuff. I really like it. Kind of nice having somebody else here via the camera as I'm doing this. I really do kind of like these first impression videos. Let me know if you do too. What do you think? What do we think? What do we think? Hmm? hmm? I can't feel any of it. Now we put it to the full scorecard test. But as you can see, the initial results are very, very promising. I'm into it. I'm into it right now. I hope. I continue to love this stuff because this would be a really nice win for Say, which is a brand that I've really loved quite a bit since the very beginning. So have you tried these out yet? What was your experience? Share the skin type, age if you want to. You can do a range, whatever. That context is super helpful and it also gives beyond an opinion of one. So if you could do that, that would be amazing in the comments. I will be back with a full scorecard sooner than later. I like to test these out for a couple weeks minimum. I will update you over here. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful or if you enjoyed it or all of the above, then don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe so you never miss a thing. I'm not sure if this is gonna make a top 20 out of all the products I've tried. I have them all in my Brits Picks section, so we will see, but 
This is exciting also because the Iris and Romeo, which is my current favorite, continues to separate on me and the performance suffers. So there's gonna be some changes, I think, on the Brits picks list, not just with that one, but have an amazing rest of your day or night or whatever it may be where you are. Bye.